This is the view east towards the Dalmuir drop lock along the Forth and Clyde Canal. The canal closed in the 1960s but was reopened in 2001. The view is taken from the Bascule Bridge at Farm Road. When the then British waterways were planning the reopening of the Forth and Clyde Canal, they had a significant problem where Dumbarton Road crosses the canal in Dalmuir. This is a very busy road and it was thought to be unacceptable to interfere with the traffic by installing a lifting bridge. The chosen solution was to build what is thought to be the world's only operational drop lock. This is a longer than usual lock. It has two outer barriers that prevent boats from entering it. Once boats are allowed to, then there are two locks at either end with the lock gates facing towards the canals itself. When a boat is allowed to enter, these locks are closed. The water is then pumped out, 2,000 cubic litres of water, which takes around 40 minutes. When the water level has been sufficiently reduced, the boat can pass underneath the bridge, then the process is reversed on the other side, the water being allowed in. When the levels are equal, the lock gates are open, and the boat can continue on its journey. There's a pedestrian underpass to allow the operator to go underneath the bridge from side to side. One concern was that the boat could drift beneath the bridge whilst the water level is being reduced. If there was a catastrophic failure of the lock gate, then the sudden rush of water could crush the boat against the bridge. This is prevented by safety barriers which prevent this, the boat from drifting 